go get light and power. Them hustle so they so they they can't get the power. Hmm. But now they know they do anything with the power. Sheer. Every day dollar just they get the higher power. Over naira, see them talk say make we off mind. But thank God say my ego don't come. So my people make you laugh. Oh, yo yo yo, my ego don't come. Oh yo yo, my people make we shout. Oh yo yo. They do even no one make person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man too they talk. He too they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day then they take money in buck. Come on. Woman picking they the street they hawk. Still them talk say make we not talk. But thank God say my egun don't come. So my people make you laugh. Like oh yo yo, my egun don't come. Oh yo yo, my people make you shout. Oh yo yo. Hello there. Aye guna wa mo la mo do 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 do. Aye guna ya ri aye Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. It is Mayegun Live. Don't worry yourself. It is an open mic. Meaning, you can call in anytime. Not, you don't have to wait. Okay. I am going to be sharing what I want to share with everyone. And I will be taking calls in the mid uh, presentation. Sorry about the delay. Please share this broadcast after reading the caption and reading the description of the broadcast. Okay, share it and invite others. Godfather is in Kosi Lord of my My so it's pretty much about uh, ongoing gist. You can also call in to ask uh, questions. The number is also on your screen. From frying pan to fire. The North is afraid. Adjumbu is moving uh, part of uh, the Central Bank of Nigeria's operation down to Lagos, and that somehow is making some people uncomfortable. The better gates is not over. Tifunbu has suspended the sharing of money for now. Also, from what I have also found out, they said that Dangote refinery is going to be producing diesel and aviation, uh, uh, they call it uh, jet fuel, yeah, jet fuel for aeroplanes. What happened to the petrol? What happened to kerosene? Are they not from the same crude oil? <laughs> Today, so good morning once again, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are joining me from tonight. Also, 
uh, if this is your first time of participating in the open mic on Mayegun's Diary Politico, it is very easy, okay? Uh, usually, I would present my program, present everything to, to everyone and all that, and then we'll leave uh, another hour for you know the viewers, you, to uh, contribute to the conversation as well, had your own views too. But the open mic is different. When, whenever you see the title of my broadcast that reads open mic, it simply means that uh, the microphone is open to all. So you can call in and then, uh, you know, say your own, you know, say your own thing, uh, which is uh, hear your own uh, view as well as uh, you can ask questions too. I mean, it, you know, it's called open mic, as you must uh, know. Anyway, the news out uh, there is that Tifnumbu, uh, you know, they are like probing the central bank as uh, a place where what Bokwari and his gang did to the central bank of Nigeria, mm -hmm, which has led to the uh, arrest, detention, and now on bail of uh, Eme Fiole and few others too. It has also led to uh, the sack and arrest of uh, some board members of uh, four banks. Mm -hmm. So while all of this are going on, mm -hmm, they said that uh, they have, they believe that the central bank headquarters in Abuja, well, this is the official position. Let's start with that. The official position is that uh, in uh, Abuja, they have uh, too many staff and they need to prune them, I mean, you know, prune them uh, down and they are going to like, you know, have to move some operation down to Lagos. They have uh, all those, you know, departments, right? Some departments down to Lagos, like the banking, super, I mean, supervision, uh, financial institution supervision department, consumer protection uh, department, uh, payment system management uh, department, and financial policy regulations uh, department. These are the departments that they believe that will take uh, at least 1,000 of their staff to Lagos. So the central bank uh, and their own uh, source, and all of that was like. Uh, some people now felt like it is uh, the gradual you know, way of uh, Tifnum Boos taking, like the normal state capture, so you get, like his way of uh, taking control of all the institutions in Nigeria, right? By using the same uh, divided tactics, okay? Take some down and, you know, kind of different. Uh, Nigeria is a divided place, you know that. Eh? And however, if you read through uh, the, uh, what do you call it? If you read through the departments and all those, right? Uh, the people affected probably know themselves and all that, but they're like, no, it's more than that. So it's planning to relocate the, the vault of the central bank to Lagos, possibly to Baltimore. That's ridiculous. That's what somebody said uh, in that. But again, it's just that the word there, out there. I'm coming back to that too. Now, on this issue of a uh, better gate, mm -hmm. another few things have like popped up. So some said that uh, from the information they have, which you can see from the source, uh, primarily, Tifnumbu suspended are. However, some believe that even though a lot of people have uh, felt like, oh, he was quick to action, which is blah, blah, blah. Then he set up a, a panel, a panel that one of the members is one of the beneficiaries of a better get uh, or better reduce generosity. I'm talking about the interior minister here. He's part of the panel. So that kind of now raised the suspicion to another level. Like, are you sure? that uh, this is not a ploy to kind of uh, get her back in and all that stuff. I was like, uh, well, others are saying that it's just job for the boys. However, uh, Tifnumbu today, oh yeah, 
they are today is announced that uh, they've suspended the sharing of uh, money, which is the national uh, social whatever NC they call it social investment uh, program where they give five thousand, ten thousand to poor people, and then give like fifty thousand to mark I mean to traders. It's called trader money, market money. 100,000. So all this sharing is what some of those consultants collected those billions for, 3 billions in total. They were supposed to go everywhere. And however, just like under Bokuari, we are over 2, tell me, 2 trillion naira, okay, was purportedly shared to the poorest people in Nigeria by Bokuari's government. There is no record, except the record of transferring the money to their different private uh, personal accounts. It was like a thing. But there's no record of the beneficiaries. You know, normally, one of uh, the arguments of uh, the defenders of uh, Olubumi Ujo, eh, that interior minister, is that, you know, his wife, controls the business and this is not the first time that they will be sharing money they said Olubumi, i'm just using him as a contact to you can then possibly imagine the other tens of people who got the money like olubumi Ujo's wife and olubumi Ujo's company right the spv special purpose vehicles they use them to take government contracts, not because they want to execute them, they just give themselves different kind of names. So, Olubumi Ojo's uh, wife collected, well, let's say Olubumi Ojo, who happened to be former House of Rep member. Do you remember that, uh, it's okay, it's okay, horrible minister, it's okay, off your mic, it's okay, when uh, Akwa Bioli was saying, Ask your other leaders, ask all the uh, other members of the, uh, the House of Representatives uh, Investigative Committee. We gave them, we take care of all of them. This, they, this, so, and that woman was like, no, which, who are you, to, what are you talking about? And they're like, horrible minister, off your mic, off your mic. That chairman of that committee at the time was Ulubumi Ojo, the current uh, Minister of Interior in Nigeria. All right? So they said his wife has, I mean, they've done this before. They said his wife conducted the consultancy job in 2018 for the same Ministry of uh, Hunger and Poverty and Disaster. This was 2018. Oh. They said she did the job where poor people in Ekiti, poor people in Undo, poor people in uh, Ogun, they were all sort of uh, mapped and registered so that in the future, they can easily trace back the beneficiaries and follow it up. That's what they said their company did. Oh. But guess what? Uh, better a do the <laughs> the enjoyment minister, or you can call her the disaster minister, has already shared over 7 billion naira to those beneficiaries, consultants. Why did she give them money? Because, majority, you know, it's still APC and APC, which you get. Majority of them, eh, they were also there when Shadia was sharing money. So if you now say you don't have reliable register, so did the people that uh, better uh, do shared money to, eh, did they not present any register? Anyway, sha, you shall know sha, sha says love about sharing money and all of that. So these are the kind of questions they don't like you to ask. You're asking too many questions. Two people, 
they force people to be like, you're asking too many questions when you already know the answer. You all know that it's, everything is a scam. The second set of people are like, you're asking too many questions because we know that you don't even believe in this government anyway. We believe that there's nothing that it's not in this government, there's nothing they do that you ever, ever, ever say any good thing about them. So the best is don't ask any questions. Just say, okay, that sounds good. And all of that. Anyway, uh, the central bank uh, part, as well as uh, the sharing money part, they are connected. Though. But let's take that sharing money part forward. So they have now set up a panel that is now going to investigate if uh, bet I mean, better a uh, do did anything wrong. Their job is to see if she did anything wrong or also they said they have found some kind of complicated documents or evidence that shows that even up till now, after spending two over two trillion naira fighting poverty, and just in the last six months spending over seven billion naira fighting the same poverty ladies and gentlemen audio money me they have no record of those they are giving the money to except for the social media video where you saw them eh carrying baby sick baby giving food and giving money eh in the envelope all those you uh, social media video those are the evidence, but in real life, the beneficiaries, they have no real contact. However, I was uh, telling somebody about this the other day, right? And I said, the Alima Shew in the Ministry of uh, Sharing Money, which is otherwise known as uh, the Ministry of uh, Poverty and uh, Disaster, Ali Masheu. Is it what that NCP or NCPA mean? Is that is N S I P or N S I P A? It simply means National uh, Social Investment Program. That is said uh, the NCP, the N S I P. So the NSIPA then simply means National Social Investment Program Agency, NSIPA. So they appointed uh, Data Lima to be in charge of that money. Remember, all these trillion, trillion you are hearing, they are just like, eh, you are just hearing about them. The only result they can show for it is that uh, more Nigerians are poorer today. And the poverty, I'm sorry, and the corruption that led to that is currently ongoing. That they are doing all of this doesn't mean that the money is going to come back to you still. No, 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 no. They are just going to replace the thieves and the stealing will continue. Do you understand that now? Eh? That's how, that's how this, uh, this really works, okay? So the NC per lady now said, because of the way I better a do was kind of moving money and moving mad. She decided to uh, move the money from the NCP account, which is the last bus stop of sharing money. So let me tell you how they said this work, okay? So uh, the way they cook it, once they finish all the permutation of how much money they want to take, eh? Uh, the minister will take it to the Federal Executive Council meeting. She will present it to everybody there, like all those uh, Tuesday meetings, you see their pictures, right? All they do there is just to get approval for the money they are going to loot for that, uh, for that month and the next month and the next month and on and on like that. And the way they do that is just put everything together. How much do you need? Two billion. Take it to the Federal Executive Council. The moment you read it out, we are going to 
uh, support uh, the people in uh, Do Ogun Oyo uh, by Elsa. Uh, the people in uh, you know, Nasarawa, Zanfara, Shokoto Kano, uh, Yobe, Jigawa, and all that. And she said, how much is all of that? 2.8 billion Naira. And I said, okay, approved. That's it. So once they release the money, the money goes straight into that NCP account. So when their budget is coming as well, and they say this money is to be shared and all of that, eh? it goes into that account. Now from that account, they now pay people they call vendors, the consultants, the ones that are now going to come and stand by the roadside asking you if you are poor to give you money or not. I'm joking. That's not how they do it. So you can now become a vendor. Somebody like me living in the UK can be a vendor too if I have the political connection. But the, all I have to do is just uh, put up a funny name. The CAC will register that sharp, sharp. And once, I, once the company is registered, it doesn't really have to be, you know, a real business address. You know what I mean? Like, then they put it in straight away. And once the money is to be released and your, your account details is forwarded to the, to the NC per guys, you can just suddenly just see 300 million naira. 500 million naira in that bank account. Your bank will not raise alarm. Nobody will say anything. The money is just there. All they need now is just for you to say you have spent the money. That's how they have been doing it. Now, normally, if you give the money to anybody, you have to kind of take their details. You have to uh, get them registered for bank and all of that stuff. That's it. But... As, Niger as typical Nigeria, where they watch me right now, say you know what I mean. Like you are there, they don't give you the political connection, and boom, eight hundred million naira, six hundred million naira cash, and you are looking at your bank balance like that. Ah, one point two billion. They said you should go to Ondo. I mean, to go to Ondo Ikiti and Ogun State, go and share the money to poor people there. So all you have to do is just get, get a few guys together. You are generous if you spend the 200 million of that money in those places. Some people just go into other things like, okay, we are going to train people on how to, how to tie, tie rapper. And they will take pictures of women tying rapper and say, ah, thank you very much you for teaching us on how to tie rapper. Here you get. Oh, that's all they need and the money is gone. And that is how they are milking the system. That is why all the billions, trillions are not reflecting in the lives of every, anybody except them and their own, uh, you know, their families and all that. Sorry, I just missed uh, somebody's uh, calling earlier. Like I said, you are uh, free to call in anytime. It's called open mic, like I said. Okay. So, I, as it uh, should be, or as it is, or has always been, in their midst, the continuation of the fraud and all that, okay? So it was more or less like a bazaar. And that's why a lot of people are wondering like, but there are other people doing others too. Why are people not looking as like, no, don't worry, this scandals are just, this is January. There's gonna be more, all right? Some of them are going to be believed to be orchestrated by Kolu himself or people around him. A lot of things are kind of like, you know, developing anyway. Share you guys. But there is this uh, one I want to share with you. So we are talking, uh, like I said, I was having a chat with uh, a pal. And it was like, ah, or more. Even like, say, I mean, I'm beginning to believe, uh, sorry, one sec. I'm beginning to kind of believe you. I'll just you now. Let me take this. Somebody is on the line. Hello there. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? Yeah, uh, my, I'm good. Uh, my name is my name is Timmy Tope Kalejaye. Timmy Kalejaye. Uh, yeah, you are calling from. Too, are you? No, no, calling from Calgary, Canada. Calgary. How are you, Shah? How, how is uh, you know how is Calgary today? Yeah, the weather is, is is not that bad, but thank God. Uh, yeah. Actually, this my this my this my second time is talking it, to you. Yeah, I think I have uh, spoken to you before, but I just like uh, the car yeah, game that, I think that uh, was intro kind of ring bells, but you know. Yeah, that was that was last year. 
Go on. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mayegun, you are, you are doing a good job. I'm not going to lie to you. Thank you. And uh, I wish you all the best in all your endeavor. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, the way, the way things are going in Nigeria, uh, I just have it limited. I, I, I don't have much to say, but I, 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 all what I can say right now, please, I've been trying to talk to you about this, but I, I tried your number, I couldn't get through. Sorry. Please, if anybody invited you to any place, please be very, very vigilant, please. Are you good? Because they, I think they are, they will, they are trying their best, like the way they cash uh, 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 money in the canon. Please don't don't let anybody use that tactics for you. Be very vigilant. I will. I will. Thank you very much. You know, sir. because I can see you. You know, I want be to kill a boy. You know, do ninja. I want to dance with you. You are not happy with it. And I think I'm going to share like that alone. Baba, me. I love you so much, my brother. Thank you. I will. Much, yeah, I will talk to you tomorrow. Is Sunday. It is our contribution. You know, don't worry. Oh, it's our day. You don't forget that. Okay, I wish you all the best. That's, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you very much, Baba. I yeah, 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 yeah. I wish you the best. Yeah. Thank you so much, and uh, I wish you. The all same. right. Wow, you have a good one. That's uh, Timmy from Calgary. I think I remember him now. I do remember you, Baba. Okay. So yeah, uh, I was talking to a friend, and we were talking about. I mean, he was telling me that ah, come on. it's like I'm beginning to believe this your belief that it's like Nigeria is done for, man. That every day the number of uh, people who could actually like stand as symbol of Okay, I have another person there. So, symbol of a, you know, encouragement or what have you in this kind of troubled time. Sorry, oh my caller, just hang in there for me for a second. You know, like, uh, it is so difficult to see such today, okay, who has no political allegiance or loyalty to anyone per se, other than their belief in that country. And he was talking about uh, Ghani Fawaimi as well. So last night, they came across uh, this uh, clip of Babangida saying he did everything to make uh, Ghani Fawaimi his friend. Oh, when you jailed him, you locked him up a few times, you used your military to harass him many times. So he said he was doing all of that before he, things got to that. Even upon that, he was doing everything to be his friend. So that, you know, he could probably work with him and Ghani Fahemi will have nothing to do with him. Nada. I was like, Baba, look at people today. Young people especially. Eh? Who have seen the damages done by these roads. And many of them have even condemned these people. I'm talking about condemned them bitterly. Only for them to see these people one-on-one -on -one, and they will melt. They will suddenly become fan of theirs. Fighting to, you know what I mean? They would, and then if you want to finish them, let that same person offer them a, any kind of job or appointment, whatever it is, then you will see the way they will. And we have seen that happen. You know, I said, well, probably, we are probably doomed. Okay. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. Yes, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. My good. I greet you, Baba. I mean, I, 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 your side. My side, be we praise God. We thank God. You may need to mute that broadcast behind you so that uh, it won't keep interrupting in our conversation. By the way, if you can, please. Okay, okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. I'll do that. Yeah, now it's, uh, it's okay. It's out now. It's fine. I think it is now. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the thing with the topic, we say, wait now, I contribute be so now. This is uh, Ulubimi. This is uh, Minister of Interior. Yes, sir. For this, uh, you talk about them before. This uh, lady, Dr. Edu. Be better. Edu. Uh, 
better, better I do yet. So this is uh, Minister of Interior. He also the now in some company. Like the one transfer that money to this the uh, four point something million. We have eight million yet, yeah, which you want to transfer. So now that man don't come out. He talk say okay, he not this. See that in my uh, company, he don't resign since two thousand and nineteen. Yeah. So now the thing we say he resign and uh, he still get share for that company. Hey, now. And in why now he be the director as in present director as in present uh, CEO of that company now in wife. So now the something be say how come say in get share and in wife now the. CEO as in the present because there is person no, there, you know right what, what they will tell you there is no law that talks saying you know, yeah. no shares for companies that's what they tell you the only thing we go do wrong we say may you know declare saying get shares so with the code of conduct listen at them make all these laws themselves Abby, that protects them too just trying to kind of answer yeah. and tell you what he will say to you and say why he will say well I get the shares there I am allowed to Really? Yes, I am allowed to. The law says I can. I see. That's what they do, Baba. Yeah. Uh, so we did yeah, we say this story now. So we did, if they want the uh, EFCC, if they want really find this one thing down. Yeah. That money way be, better transfer. That money transfer and purpose this. This one thing we say, as you, you talk one thing before, say, they will talk, say, come bring people, come and say, now nah, teach them how to tie up. Blah, blah, blah. Now, wait till they want to mm. that money, they just want to lie. That thing, now, something that man, that me, uh, will be me to you. You he know something, you know about his wife, self, no. Why how they, can why you say the now? She even you, where you know how then they run now. She, you get that. Is that not easily to easily tell you, say, this whole thing is a charade? Now, that will me, or Joe is now part of the panel. Now, we go investigate that money. So, where do you think it's going to end? Hey, you go ahead for pocket now. <laughs> they will talk say they will talk. <laughs> they will talk say now what now what we can't do this something before. See now not be human. Now the thing now the something we can't come with that at the end. There you go. Yeah. You know, but what me I actually wanted to uh, say before your call came uh, came in uh, was that uh, you see a lot of people need to understand something. Okay, and I've I've yeah. been saying this year before, and I will continue to say it every now and then. Okay, you see, whatever we say is not the same as what we do. Share you get. Now you cannot say, yes. "I feel so bad for these people. I feel bad that people cannot afford this. They cannot do that, and all of that." And we know what caused that inflation. Uh, you know, poor economy and all of that stuff. And on that same, you know, that's what you are saying, you know, I feel bad. We are doing everything to make sure that everybody, you know, like things are back to this and that. But we see what you are doing eh, is actually going to make it even worse for them. All right. Then you have yeah. to cut off trying to explain that to the people and say, do you understand that what they say is different from what they are doing? And it is what they are doing that is affecting everybody generally. And if you don't yeah. care about what they are doing, like what they, I mean, you know, instead of what they are saying and all that, right? You might be actually yeah. like, uh, you know, self injury. I mean, sorry, like a self destroying yourself, so to say. So, how do you explain to people that way? That's what I've been trying to do now. That's what I actually want to do tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing they say now, you go just tell them, say you go do, and you're not going to do it. Just talk, say, okay, I promise you, you're going to have electricity. Yes, and electricity yeah. not go come. You get time, and you go borrow, money, <laughs> you go borrow money for the electricity. The money is gone. Yeah. Electricity, no day. There you go. See another one. Eh? Yeah. Tell you another one. Look at this Dangote refinery thing. Some people believe yeah. say, for for these people to say Dangote refineries have started working is going to make some people sad. Do you get that? Yeah. 
that everyone that yes. is asking questions is enemy of Nigeria for not believing that they say it's working. For example, in the past, when they said oh, it's going to start working in uh, this or so time, I was like, no, it's not. I no, now yesterday they told so maybe they see the next week, first of all, don't pull everywhere. Oh. Because they see since yesterday the latest, they work. You never hear the latest, the latest Tell me, say, I never hear. Oh. I'm just you now. The latest be say, yeah. Can go to refinery, we don't turn on the plant and all of that, you know, like normal thing where they go turn plant and test plant and all that. The court of say don't yeah. do the go to refinery, don't collect six million barrels of crude oil. At least you can for those yeah. companies, Nabi, six million barrels. And all of us, yeah. even, even though I may not be science student, too, but when I did school, I hear say, eh, crude oil, yeah. crude oil, petrol day, diesel day, yeah. aviation yeah. fuel day, eh, kerosene yeah. day. Then another yeah. one, we can't be there, we'll be the thick one, not be two men. Eh, we say that we even yeah. use that one, do road. I don't know if you remember yeah. that. Oh. This is like an open, open education. I... Oh. How come yeah, person yeah. collect? Listen, how person we can collect six million barrel of crude oil? Go soon they refine diesel and jet fuel. What thing can happen to kerosene and petrol? No, that they throw them away. Petrol, we'll yeah. Leave that one for now. So if we can tell you, say they don't import what they want one sell, and it is almost time, eh? To make it look like uh, they make it there, they don't go call you enemy of Nigeria like that. For just asking, say she the same refinery that refined the crude oil and separated diesel and separated the uh, jet fuel. So the plan be saying go dump the one where we produce petrol and kerosene. Which kind of deal be that? Does that then mean that the refinery is ready? And I'm waiting at you, I mean, be that. <laughs> <laughs> but when you ask, they go say, you are just enemy of Nigeria. Let him produce some force. I say, no, 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 we are not saying he shouldn't. But does that make any sense to you? Say the same it thing. It doesn't make any sense. Petrol and uh, kerosene. Eh? Kerosene, yes. You can only produce diesel and jet fuel. And also diesel, yeah. Now, they say the other thing now, now diesel and jet fuel, go produce for now. Until later, we go tell you when you go to produce petrol. When you go come up to that, uh, they go return them into their into their tank full. I mean, they go throw them away. But if you ask, they go say you do you you are asking too many. It's because you don't wish Nigeria. We are saying ah, not me. Now the mumu that we did said some of you, they nourish this criminal. We no wish Nigeria well, but you know it won't stop us from saying it anyway. That's not the truth, not the truth. Now, this one, this one thing we got the general be that Nigeria, these politicians, they don't know the people waiting for the everybody, they could just tell them something, they could just begin their happy, and they don't go do them. And when they know do now, them, when they don't do them, eh, when they don't do them, they go come keep yeah. quiet. They go come, everybody go just keep quiet, like say. So if you come talk, they say, eh, eh, but, but, I mean, eh, what happened is they will begin to find different, different. I say, ah, Baba, no, be so your mouth be the other day. Oh. That day where they tell you say Nigeria here now fraud, you nearly tear me. Oh. If you see me one on one, you go one tear me apart, say I be enemy me. Oh. Today, Nigeria here yeah. come. You don't even come back, come apologize, say, Baba, sorry, say I abuse you that time about Nigeria here. They don't come back. They don't. They just disappear. And the billions <whistles> gone. Hey. Now, one, now, one, now, one. And these people now, when we say they, they argue, they follow this politician, they follow their nyans everywhere. Later, now, they, say, they will bring on the argument, come say they be one, one, they will they defend them. So you get people, they, yeah, naira dollar don't change like it's like never before. Baba, people, they tell people, say, Tifnumbu strategy has stabilized the dollar. Ha, and naira. It has improved the economy. Hey. And people, they watch that one. They don't get angry. And I'm like, oh, ma. Hey. See, brother, thank you very yeah. much uh, for, uh, you know, for uh, your calling. Ma, continue, my You're welcome. And take others, too. Okay. okay. You have a wonderful evening. Okay. You're yeah. welcome. Yes, sir. Okay. So, talking about those of you, I mean, I've said this before, right? 
that uh, politics is not a game. And I will never stop telling you that it is not a game. I know some of you are wired differently. Many of you, if this, if this uh, Nigeria never happened to you in a way that you're going to scream and call on God and say, God, why? Okay? You are not wired. Otherwise, you know, and it's, uh, what have you? <laughs> the criminals who are looting Nigeria, you are still seeing them do the same thing. Now, they are going to make you feel like maybe something is wrong with you. Because, yes, on the one hand, they are going to say, we know that people are going through a lot and all of that. Then on the other hand, they will tell you, Tifnumbu's uh, economic policies is now yielding results. Which results? The results that uh, someone that is earning 100,000 naira a month is living like somebody will be probably like jobless. You cannot afford basic things. For those of you who have uh, children, every day, eh, you have no idea what uh, the what life is going to throw at you. Then, I mean, these are these are life realities. Even though they may tell you that, uh, well, it's not his fault. It's not them, you know. Like it's other people, and since it is other people. You need to give him time. But when you now look at what they are doing too, and you begin to kind of tell yourself that, oh, well, this, is, this is not going to end well. You know? The criminals who, I mean, like, who feels like, when somebody was describing their 2023, um, so 2024 budget, you know what he said? He said, Nigeria has gotten to that stage whereby the citizens have been brobeaten with terrible economic policies that has rendered them very poor and weak. Weak enough that what they care for mostly is how to survive today until tomorrow and how to survive every day. That the criminals have become so comfortable and emboldened that they put together what they call a budget, where it's actually allocation of uh, the resources of Nigeria to themselves without anybody checking or raising alarm or having the strength to even raise alarm. That's exactly what somebody, how somebody described the 2024 budget. A lot of you probably have no idea what it is and all of that. We are just going to be wondering, why is the economy so hard? Why is uh, the insecurity getting uh, out of hand when it's already totally out of hand? The actions of the politicians and what they say. Then that is going to take me to the part where some people were having an argument about if uh, Tifnumbu is uh, a smart, the smartest uh, politician eh, or a better administrator like government and some of them were sorry my caller i have a caller on the line so somewhere like they were having that conversation that in the nigerian context how would you describe tifnumbu and his politics okay politics of you know what i mean like criminal structure where they can get whatever they want and whenever they want you understand? But after getting what they want, and you check the eyes and say, okay, how about administration? Governance, which is politics apart, governance apart, Abby. How, how is that on the life uh, of the people they've had, I mean, they've had a chance? He has had a chance of uh, leading in Lagos and now Nigeria. You know, I've gone. I don't know if I still have the comment there. Do I still have you there? Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? 
Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me too? Yeah. Yes. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? MOG. Sir. Oh. See how bad you Sure, Baba. Oh, Thank you for the thank you for the good work. Thank you, sir. All the information you devote to us, we really appreciate. Uh, this is uh, two links from Abba. Two links, hey, calling from Abba. Two links, two links, two links. How are you, Baba? I'm very, very well fine. Great. It's good to hear uh, Go on. Yes, I've been listening to all your programs all these days. I know. I've never missed one. Because one or two things, I found that I can't, it's been longer even listening to your live program. Mm. Now, I'm not here to repeat what people have been saying all these days. Because to me, those calling me, talking, they are repeating the same thing. Trying to talk about Nigeria again. Nigeria that is dead and gone. They miss you, why around call me Bruku Bruku. In fact, what I be you will need to, to download the app, slapping app, Lori phone, to help me and to pass so so keep that in my telly. <laughs> Some people will still be coming here trying to intertwine things, trying to 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 save Nigeria to us. We should have hope. We didn't tell one. Yeah, che, because wait, che, because they have small change in their accounts. Mm. They are still hoping that there is hope in Nigeria. What of you are watching Nigeria to Shilly Shiko to your room? Let me put it fat. A rope where going to give your room. Do you go to the way going to go to the body? You can find your dad. I am still telling us to have hope. See, this one, this is what I'm here to just say. I am uh, most people living in, uh, okay, let me say it like this. Uh, middle belters that are diaspora. What are they doing? To, to well, enlighten their people on what is going on. Because I know that due to uh, uh, undevelopment and poverty, most people can't afford uh, smartphones to even know the actual thing, the in-depth of what is happening in Nigeria. Now, what are the diasporas doing to enlighten their people more on what is happening? So that by the time they know what is happening, they will have a good reason to rise to defend themselves. I will start from uh, 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 Plateau people, mostly Plateau, Benue, and Kaduna. Now, people, people, I know that due to situation, we forget this is even me too. I'm 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 caught up, uh, caught, uh, caught up in the heart because due to Oslin, I forget this is Many people don't know, many, many people have forgotten how people were massacred in Benue State. But now, last year, they still massacred some people in Benue State now. Everywhere was rotten. The recent, uh, they are still yes. killing people there too now. Hmm. Yes, now, Plateau is of recent. We know of Kaduna. Kaduna is their ritual place, normal place, where they may kill people like chicken, anyhow. Now, the diasporans, what are they doing to enlighten their people so that they'll be able to rise and because me, I can't wait to go where we go down, where everything that we go down. Who is Nigeria helping? Hmm. Who is Nigeria helping? Now, there is a statistic that came out that uh, diasporans are remitting over uh, 36 million, yeah, a billion dollars, and dollars every yeah. ah, if that kind of money is sent. Come, we have so many, we have so many libraries in Nigeria. To get a textbook, we have a textbook, we have a textbook, we have a textbook, we have a textbook. Nigeria is not favoring everybody. To buy my budget, we have a budget, we have a budget. Yes, yes, okay, now, listen. Yeah, by, by piecemeal, by piecemeal, Nigeria is taking us one by one. Tabat is so far away, you know, what did you okay? Tabat is okay, okay, those that are saying that they don't want to rise up because they have one small thing. What about the middle belt? She could be any middle belt in me. Checking it out, so you should only be any middle belt. Come, did you see? I don't blame those that are that are that, that are so. Uh, I think I'm going. That, when you mentioned the diasporans who are middle belters, right? That kind of reminds me, okay? Uh, the people okay. that uh, gave this. Just so you know, okay, the people that actually gave the middle belt the publicity 
the middle belt killings generally the publicity uh -huh. that helped a lot majority of them are the, uh, the middle belt and the diaspora like i can tell you that because you see the main media in nigeria as you know now eh they are not reporting yeah, all the yeah. truth but you see all those ones in the yes. diaspora their family members sending photos sending videos some of them See, some of them were acting as uh, the 999 for their family members under attack. They couldn't call police in Nigeria. These are like experiences that have led uh, to protest, I mean, like, you know, rallies, protests in America, here in the UK. No, but the, the diaspora should let their people know. The diaspora should let their people know that nobody's coming to the rescue. Nobody is yeah, coming. I get that let them now, yeah. enlighten them. Let them enlighten them to know what, because now, if, 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 I mean, if, if now, 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 if those terrorists come, come now, they will massacre people. Uh -huh. They will go. When the youth rise up to go after them, army will come. They will pick up those that things they want to they want to champion the the revolt as in revenge. Uh -huh. Those whoever want to fight back. Many yes. Now those people now. What I'm trying to say is that let them know what they are they will face when they retaliate against the terrorists. So that everything will just be because, like today now, eh? today, hello. I'm with you to link. Yeah. Go on. Today, and then a birthday, and then a birthday, me. Hey, hey, Today's uh, my birthday. You should have yeah. started with that yes. one. Yes. Now. <laughs> hey, Baba, right. see, Cherry, go, 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 she, you know, wanting to tell me about you about your retiwa, your retiwa, any hope, yeah, right? Which is where we can leave, right? We can do anything and undo as well. So, happy birthday to you, Baba, once again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm concluding, well, my conclusion goes like this the diasporans, the middle, middle belters from diasporans, they should try as much as possible. To enlighten their people so that they will know what they are revolting against. Even say it's gone, soldier Majembe. Mm. Soldier Majembe, because when soldier comes, they should know that yes, they are ready for it. So bad now. So that is it. Thank you very much. God Thank you bless you. Very much, you very uh, much to Link uh, for your contribution. That's uh, if you like say people they people they really they par out as uh, as it should be. Yeah. So I told you, I said uh Babangeda was saying something about being friend with, uh, you know, Shiv Ghani Fawaimi, but he would never want to even be seen in public with him. I don't know if you have any image of uh, Ghani Fawaimi with Babangida in any way. I don't think any any exists. Watch this. How do you assess the role of a critic? You know, so for instance, there was Ghani Fawaimi, you know, when you were there. How did you... Uh, in fact, I will tell you a story. If we come out with any policy, my first question to my staff and some cabinets, what did late Ghani Fawaimi say? Interesting. Then you hear people who say, no, sir, I don't mind him. I say, no, listen to him. Mm. I like listening to him. I made it even a point to become his friend. He is very friendly with... Uh, one of my former ministers, late Alex Akinyele. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. They were Before very since. good friends. Yeah. And he tried to make us good friends. Mm -hmm. I told Alex, I said, no, that man will not allow you. Will not allow you. <laughs> he said, no, sir, let's try. I said, okay, try. He calls him Aleko. Yes. So Aleko tried. Aleko came back. He said, I am succeeding, sir. I said, no, you will fail. <laughs> so the last time, he said, okay, Aleko, you have bothered my life. Okay, take me to him. The day before, mm. he called him back. He said, Aleko, That's Gary. Cancel, no, cancel that appointment. Aleko said, why? Don't make me look like a fool before the president. He said, no. I hear that somebody told me if I talk with him, 
I may change my mind on a number of issues. <laughs> and I don't want to change. Interesting. So he came and told me. I said, Aleko, I told you that he is not going to change. He is a good critic. He doesn't want to be seen to be doing some with somebody that mm. people have already perceived is an evil genius. So, so, Jira, so, so how do you manage that, you know, people? So it's like uh, you uh, hearing that I have decided to go and meet with uh, Tifnumbu. What I won't meet Tifnumbu for? Like some will tell you, what did Tifnumbu say won't meet you for? Of course. But what in this world would I actually use as uh, the reason why I decided to go and see Tifnumbu? Okay, maybe because me, I'm a kind of like media guy. So I may kind of relate him and put microphone in his mouth and all of that. So ask him some hard questions. But okay, this is a different ball game. But I don't really want to see those people for real. Hmm? I think it's a different ball game. I have a caller. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, Mariko. Oh, Yuma. How are you? Good evening, Mariko. I have a friend, Mariko. Brother. How are you doing, Mariko? Well, I'm still here. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. Congratulations on the launch of the studio. Well, thank you very much. We are yet to launch it. Okay, yeah, but no, we are guaranteed of uh, doing so next month. Don't, I've got my friends who said they're don't, ready for tomorrow, so I'm ready to. Don't worry, Baba. We think ahead. We think ahead. My ego. Mm -hmm. My ego. My ego. You know when you always say that. Uh, these criminals are from every part of the country. Yes, they are. There's every tribe. That your video that you showed, Otto, talking, blah, 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 blah. They're like a parrot there. Mm. I was just laughing that. I was just laughing. You see, these politicians are the same thing, just like you always see. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the Bangla is, is talking there. He's just talking nonsense. Mm -hmm. All of them are the same. To link, Baba, happy birthday. Yes, Look, to link. <laughs> Go on. I know you threw you threw a challenge for us in diaspora from the middle belt. We have told our people, and our people know now that there's no help coming from nowhere. If you don't defend yourself against these criminals, you will be the one crying. There are still people in the IDP camp every day. So anytime anybody looks at them, they should know that that speed can happen to anybody in the middle belt. And if the middle belt people don't defend themselves, they will fall like flies. Mm. We've said it time and time again. Nobody is coming to help you. Nobody gives a damn about you. Defend yourself. Defend the thing that is underneath your feet. The minerals that is underneath your feet. Your land. Defend yourself. It's as simple as that. Marigo, mm. I don't have plenty to say. Or I'm not going to talk too much. The middle yes, belt needs yes, to defend yes, itself. Uh, you uh, speaking directly to uh, your own uh, TV people and the middle people. belt generally. So yeah. I hope, uh, defend, defend yourself. Mm -hmm. Like you don't even need anybody to tell you at this point. Tell you. From, uh, no political, no po who? No political person is coming to help you. Who? Who is going to help you? Nobody. Who? Nobody. Is he Akume? He's in APC. Is he your governor? He's in APC. Is he Otom? He's now shouting He's uh, in Bolatinubu. APC too, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, give yourself sense now. So, Yima, let me take another Thank one. you, Baba. Bless you. Hold on. Thank you. So, I have another call on the line, by the way. And, uh, um, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear, Mr. Maigun. I think Good I evening. got you the last time, and somehow I just got this, you know, error on uh, yeah. again. But Glad that you got you got. It's back. fine. How are you, sir? It's fine. Um, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, well, I want you to enlighten me on how to make a donation. Uh, uh, for some reason, I've been trying to um, uh, from YouTube, but YouTube will tell me that I should log into my account on YouTube. I've, I've tried that several times. I it's know. just to no that, avail. That, so that one is uh, you have to have uh, a gmail account anyone with uh, a gmail okay. email address right 